Hello everybody, Bressie Lee here. Today we are in Las Vegas. I'm with my homie. Stacia Picardo. What are we gonna focus on today? What's the what's what's this video about? Um I don't know, we didn't really plan this we very well. <laughs> so we just met today. We've been chatting online. That sounds weird, huh? We've been chatting on Instagram. We have. Yeah. So we've been social media ing. We're social media friends. Yeah. And now we're friends in real life. Yeah. So we've been chatting back and forth for how long would you say? Oh my gosh, it's been like four or five months about four or five months. Yeah. So there's gonna be a little bit of strategy involved when you have someone that you would like to shoot, and but you haven't met them yet, right? So do you remember the first thing that was said? The first message? Um, I don't. It was probably something along the lines of like, hey, I love your work. <laughs> so um, pretty much I, I saw her shoot with somebody else that I knew and I said, and I shared one of her images, I think on my stories. Right, yeah. I said, she's badass, I would love to shoot with her. And so the great thing about that strategy is it's not overly intrusive. It's not like sliding into the DMs without knowing somebody. Cause that's kind of- That's creepy. Creepy. You don't want to do that. So <laughs> the nice thing about sharing your Instagram stories or sharing someone's picture is it's kind of like a soft touch. It's a soft like, hi, and worst case scenario, they don't reply, but best case scenario, they respond or they reshare your share and now your feed is gonna be seen by her circle. But long story short, we just connected on social media. Uh, she has a phenomenal look. Oh, I'm not supposed to compliment the models. <laughs> if you look at her Instagram, the shots that she takes, I mean, she is a, a, she's definitely a pro. So I'm super excited to get a chance to work with her today. And she also has a clothing line. What's the name of the clothing line? It is Queen Bee Sportswear. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. I get this question all the time about what do you do with significant others? I love significant others. The reason why is because now there's someone to protect my gear. Like if Mike starts sighing and being like, oh, right, I can't even, I can't even do that. Ready? Try it. That's how most people are. I'd say 95% of significant others are super supportive. It helps boost the model as well. Have you ever had a photographer say no one allowed at your shoot? I don't Hear that? So one thing that I ask most models before we get started, even those that are very experienced, do you like to be told what to do or do you like to move free? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Good. Love that. Ooh, right there. Good. Arch a little bit more, rotate core this way and then bring the shoulders back towards your right. Wanna get that arch of the glutes. Ooh, right there. When you push a hair towards me, a little bit covers. I don't want to cover the face, but I want to get that messy. Ooh, right there, right there. Hold it, don't move, don't move. Gorgeous. Do that same thing, turn your face this way a tiny bit. Right there. Ooh. All right, y'all, so I normally don't do this. I normally talk a lot more. Y'all, y'all see my videos, I normally talk a lot. She's good. I don't like saying that. They're gonna get so mad at me, because I tell everybody, don't compliment the models, because then they get, you know, like, Cocky, they think they know what they're doing. She knows what she's doing. That's like the first time I've ever said on a video. I'm gonna edit that out, I'm not gonna put that in the video. So for those last shots, I shot from up high going down, but now I'm gonna shoot from low to make her look super, super tall. Gorgeous. Love that. Good. All right, so keep that same pose. If you can, on the light here. It's gonna be right in front here. All right, so we can just hold that. Let's have you look back up again. This did not go exactly as I had planned because I feel that I am just pressing buttons and not saying a lot of things. I'll let but, you give me directions. No, it's good. The, the good thing is like when models move freely, you know, you still want to give a little bit of input. Now, the cool thing about working with someone so experienced, it allows me to focus just on the lighting. So if you notice, I had the light over here, but then I moved the light here. Uh, the key takeaway is when the model moves, especially if someone flows really easily, make sure that you adjust the lights so that way you accentuate everything that you want to. When she faced this way, the light was lighting her backside, but it was missing her face. How important is your face? Very important. Very important. So move the light, make sure that you light for the face. I got nothing else. And she's just kicking butt. Last tidbit is when you're complimenting a model, use words that are gonna portray yourself in a more professional way. Amazing work amazing image instead of saying wow you're hot because 
that just puts you in the big pool of all the creepy people. You can say your quads are amazing, which is better than saying, wow, you've got a great body. I mean, so make sure you use professional words. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. Until next time, keep shooting.